So today I just have to get the mowing deck off and get ready for winter. So let's see how this goes. This is specific to my setup, of course, but just shows you that you can still get out there, mow the grass, take on and off the mowing deck, and do other things. And I discuss more about actually how I use the tractor towards the end of the video as far as hand controls and using the blower, etc. off now I just have to grease it up and put it away and get ready to put the snow blower on so let's put the blower on I don't know how this will go this piece is fairly heavy pretty good I think it's going to be easier for me to use a jack. Which it turns out not to be, but I didn't want to edit too much of the video to just show you. I mean, it's all trial and error and trying to figure out what works best for each individual. And I probably will try using it again. Um, but while videoing and trying to do this, of course, I'm trying not to mess up, and that's when I usually do. And another reason I try to keep an old chair in the garage and use it so I'm using it as a battering ram when I'm moving stuff around or Again, things rarely go well on video, but I also didn't want to cut it out and by using my chair. There 
Again, I didn't want to edit too much, but yet yeah, this is one of those boring videos that if you're not watching specifically for this setup, it might not be of any interest, but I wanted to show that there are things that you're going to struggle with uh, no matter what you're doing, so just keep at it and find your own way of getting things done. Something goes right, especially when you're doing it on camera. So once those pins are in, I should put this on the cart. And at this, this point, I wasn't really thinking. I should have just lowered the quick hitch a little bit and pulled the tractor up to it a little bit more instead of trying to lift it into place. But I got it. Got it on there, so that's all that matters. And so I don't have to get off of the tractor all the time to adjust the tip control. I hook that up to the hydraulics as well. And then this is the brake on this side. Forward and back push and pull on this side. And then blower control up and down. And then left and right to control the tip control and then a manual shoot adjustment which i might change to electric someday but might just keep it manual for now and for the tip control i just bolted that actuator on i used nuts for spacers that worked out perfect to keep the cylinder away from the 
shoot. And I think the one I bought was around seven inch throw. Works good. And it's way cheaper than the $700 from Kubota. I think I had $185 in parts for hoses, fittings, and the actuator.